Okay, this is not your typical crime alert. Two men were busted for illegally obtaining information about which Virginia ABC stores were going to have rare whiskey and then selling that information to consumers who have expensive taste. CBS 6's Jake Burns joins us live with those details. Jake, this is an interesting one. Yeah, it really is, Julie. For those of you at home that don't know, there's actually a large, sizable community in Virginia of people who seek out rare bourbons. Now, Virginia ABC only gets allotted a certain amount, so enthusiasts really have to hunt far and wide for the rarest of stuff that they want to get their hands on. And according to court documents, a former ABC employee and another man exploited internal information in order to try to make some money. My wife actually scored that bottle for me. Brian Houchins began bourbon hunting two years back. And yes, he sat outside an ABC store to score a single bottle. Some people called it crazy. I even set out for my first bottle of this for 15 hours. I camped out in November 20th. But it's just about for me just meeting new guys. Um, it's never really about the juice. It's more so about the conversation. For bourbon hunters like Houchins, recent conversation has included an alleged insider scheme involving a former ABC sales manager. The guy was actually in like a couple other groups or whatnot, and he would kind of talk about it, brag about it. Virginia ABC confirms former employee Edgar Smith Garcia is now facing charges. Garcia and a man named Robert Adams were allegedly selling access to an internal ABC list of where limited availability liquors would end up, knowledge not available to the general public. Adams did not work for ABC. Garcia would provide Adams with the internal list, who would in turn provide that information to his subscribers for a fee, prosecutors told the Richmond Times-Dispatch. Garcia and Adams, both facing felony embezzlement and computer trespassing charges. They had a lot of people complaining to the ABC, and I'm sure they got tired of hearing about it and just decided to put an end to it. This spring, Virginia ABC implemented a randomized approach to distributing high-demand spirits with limited supplies. The move was to cut down on people following supply trucks or camping out in front of stores and to give more Virginians the opportunity to buy limited availability liquors. If your store is on that list, then you got to kind of really run to get there if you want to get these bottles because everybody's after them now. Although some bourbon chasers flip the bottles for money, Houchin says most people he knows are in it for the spirit of the chase. If I could get that E.H. Taylor Rye Barrel Proof, I'd be satisfied. <laughs> until the next one comes. Yeah, yeah, there you go, because it, it never ends. It's an ongoing thing. It's always, what's the next bottle that you want? <laughs> the attorneys involved in this case could not be reached for comment for broadcast.